Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to discuss about bird flying. So usually we know that the aircraft or a flight whatever we are witnessing today. So that is again a bio inspired by the, the flying of the bird, the mechanism, how exactly the bird flies, how does the aerodynamic property is you know, is being uh, studied in the bird and also when it is taking flight it is folding its uh, you know, legs and then while landing it is again opening the spreading the legs and then it is landing similarly we are we can see our uh, particular uh, flights working right so that is again also a bio inspired right this model is all about studying the biological stuff and understanding the physics involved in it and the science involved in it and you make a particular devices or a mechanism out of it so in that the third topic is bird flying first topic we studied echolocation second topic photosynthesis and other many topics uh, sub topics were there the third major topic bird flying let's start so bird fly by flapping their wings and using their body weight and the movement of their air to stay at a lot that means in the air so they navigate using a combination of usual cues for example they navigate by using the earth's magnetic field or celestial navigation so birds flying influenced in the invention of the aircraft in that early aviation pioneers such as for example wright brothers observed and studied the flight of the birds to develop their flying machines they also noted that how exactly the bird birds use their wings and body to achieve the lift and as well as to control their flight and also use their knowledge to design and improve the aircraft so that means basically they have studied how exactly the particular bird flies and then they have designed accordingly now the development of gps technology was not directly influenced by the birds right but birds make use of what earth magnetic field and as well as they will how they somehow they will like navigate right so for the navigation of the flights we require some kind of you know technology for the navigation purpose so that's how so it's not directly influenced but indirectly you can say the development of gps technology was not directly influenced by the birds but rather by the need of the accurate and reliable navigation system for various purposes including aviation so gps uses a network of satellites you know that how exactly the gps was almost all engineers will be knowing okay to provide a location and the time information which is used by the aircraft navigation communication and as well as safety purposes so this is how exactly the bird wing looks like and we are having the lift whatever it is the bird is taking whenever it is flying that is because of the it's creating the pressure difference so you are having the low pressure here okay you can see the low pressure and the high pressure so this pressure difference will make you know the bird to take flight flight like that so uh, so that's how the thing goes up so science behind the bird flying now the ability of bird to fly and support their body weight in the air is a result of various anatomical and physiological adoptions right so it's not about just a physiological but also anatomical for example the structure of the wing comes under analytical but the physiological stuff the muscle or other stuffs they involve under physiological adoptions so these things should be adopted so it's important to note that the bird flight is a complex process influenced by the several factors including aerodynamics is the major property muscle strength of bird metabolic efficiency the bird should be able to produce enough oxygen or enough you know what you say the metabolical i mean enough metabolical cycle should be going on in the bird so that it can give a lot of energy for this flight and then specialized adaptions so the science behind the bird flight continues to be an area of studies so far so have they have studied but still there is it's still a fascinating for the researchers and aviation engineers alike so under uh, that was the introduction for this particular this thing under this topic we are having a gps technology as the first uh, this thing and then uh, aircraft is there so gps technology as i told global positioning system is a technology that uses a network of satellites to provide location and time 
time information to the users. Now the technology works by measuring the time it takes for the signals to travel from the satellite to the receiver and on the ground or in the vehicle or using the information to calculate the user's position. This all of you know that GPS is not as we everyone uses. Okay, so here are some of the key points. I am not going to explain all these things because these are a very general points. You can note down or you can take a screenshot or whatever for your study purpose. So you are having the satellite for satellite we will be using and the receivers definitely the we uh, receiver which has to receive the signal and then control segment the control segment consists of a ground which is uh, based on monitoring stations that track the GP, uh, GPS satellites and then they will check for particular accuracy of the signals and then make its adjustment if it is needed. So then user segment obviously user segment what it consists of the receivers which is used by the individuals or even the organizations like uh, we are, uh, it can be the government bodies or uh, uh, space organizations like ISRO and NASA kind of stuff. See that's how it, it looks like the satellite. Uh, uh, is, this is a very common representation of GPS technology. We are having the control segment what we just saw now. It's a satellite and then the, it's like a bi-directional. Your signal is coming and going because it lacks as a control segment. Okay. And then here is your segment where we are using even my our phone also is having a GPS technology now, right? So when we apply when you want to go for somewhere you will put a GPS, right? So that Google map or any kind of GPS apps that will show you the directions They are not showing directly from the some kind of in a moment But here there is a communication to this to the through the satellites and to the receivers and to the user segment So importance of the GPS technology in aircrafts how important this particular why we are studying this GPS technology in this particular bird fly subject because here yeah, the copied thing is aircraft but aircraft needs GPS technology why the reason is if there is no GPS technology then we can't trace whether the flights are uh, what flights are going what area, what area or uh, whether they are having the same line all those kind of stuff so it may lead to the ac flight accidents and if anything happens inside the fly, uh, flight, uh, we won't be knowing. So for communication purpose, we can use for aircraft to aircraft, uh, you know, communications also you can use. Also to the ground communications, you can use. And then satellite positioning also you can use. So this is all are the, you know, the importances. Okay, if any air traffic is there, that can be guided. And then all kind of stuff. Okay, even for weather control, uh, if weather is... Uh, to us, we can cancel the flights. All those applications, GPS technology plays a very important role. So uh, it is essential for uh, uh, aircraft navigation and guidance. Here is how it is used: positioning and navigation. All of you know, flight planning. Okay, so the planning of the time and other stuff, and approach and landing during approaching uh, this particular land, and as well as during the land. Also, it is very important. Uh, whether the traffic is there in that particular area and other stuff and then the air traffic management and collision avoidance and flight data recording so next topic we are having aircraft technology so uh, aircraft technology has advanced significantly since the first powered flight by the Wright brothers in 1903 here are the some key points of modern aircraft technology the first thing is aerodynamics jet engines and avionics safety systems automations so avion or aerodynamics so far we have studied based on the way the bird shapes the air is coming in and the thrust difference is creating whereas jet engines uh, it applies the newton thrust law and whereas avionics is a combination of aviation and as well as electronics so that most of the digital systems can be digital technology can be involved and safety system to reduce the risk of accidents automation to for the autopilot systems and computerized flight control system so by my looking we have wing design so the wing is uh, copying uh, we are copying the same structure uh, from the wing and uh, we are using so this is how it looks like you have a bird and you have a flight and a flap wing drones so the researchers have developed drones that use flapping wings to fly and mimicking the way birds and insects fly so what happens this can be used for monitoring crops wildlife inspect uh, you know inspecting buildings infrastructures and search and rescue operations so soaring algorithms uh, for for example uh, soaring refers to the flight technique used by the birds so here it certain aircraft to stay aloft so it's in the air it should stay and travel long distances with minimal energy expenditure for these applications 
and then landing gear so legs and feet of the birds they are they got inspired from this and uh, they are having the shock absorbing and retractable structure so that it can be used in the flights so it will be helpful for the cushioning or the uh, whatever the shock absorber applications the feature obviously we can have a VTOL that is uh, electronic uh, electric uh, vert, uh, vertical takeoff landing okay where spacex has been doing a lot of research here elon musk's uh, company and then autom autonomous flying vehicles high speed air travel personal air vehicles high hyperloop transportations that's it for today and tomorrow we can uh, continue with the next